Thank you. I want to welcome you to the, the dinner show, Sunday dinner show. What happened to your arm, man? Huh? He hit a kid in the nose and busted his hand. Let's see that. Let's see it. Isn't that wonderful? And you got a little tooth in there. <laughs> yeah. Fighting, huh? What was it, at school or what? Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. Was it or what, or was it at school? Huh? Where'd you sit up straight? Now, why'd you hit him? Huh? Do you know how to control your temper? You know what that cost me and your mother? Take you all the way down to the hospital, x-rays, plaster Paris, things like that, because you want to hit somebody. Did you knock him out? <laughs> you were hit first? Really? Guy sneaked one on you, did he? Well, I mean, was it a legit fight, or did you just, were you just walking down the hall, and the guy said, I think I'll hit this kid? <laughs> Some guy just walked right up, said, hi. <laughs> was it at school? Yeah? School's the best place to have the fight, especially if you win, and everybody knows about it, didn't you walk down the hall? So see my hand? I broke a guy's nose, you know. Yeah, I mean. How'd you like that football game today? Great. Huh? A lot of Baltimore people out there just eating. <laughs> just, just eating. What'd you have for dinner? What'd you have for dinner? New York. New York, what else? What are you looking at her for? She, weren't you there when you were eating? Huh? What'd you have? New York and what else? And a what? A vodka seven? No vegetables? Or was that your vegetable? I'll have a vodka seven with butter. No butter. I see you didn't eat your parsley. Laid it right on the side of the cup there. No, didn't you get a potato? They usually give you a potato. You always get a potato with everything. No matter, at any nightclub, you get a potato. They give you, even if you have a sandwich, they give you a potato. You could eat, uh, there's somebody over here. Well, you ate all of your potato almost. And peas. Now, there you are, peas. Look at that. Huh? You like peas? Huh? Why'd you leave them? <laughs> Peas are very uncool to serve in a nightclub or any place where you're out eating. Very uncool. Have you ever, you know, pick, pick up a fork full of peas. Just go ahead. Just dig right in there and pick them up. See how some of them fall off? Whoever made up peas to eat out in public, man, they roll off your fork all the time, you know, and you can't spoon them because people say, there's a guy spooning his peas over there. They'd rather that you fork them and drop half of them on the floor, you know. There's a lot of slick people pushing peas over under your plate, pretending you did it, you know. It's, you dropped your peas all over your plate there. Look at the bottom of your shoes. There's peas all on the bottom, the way you've squashed them and everything. Peas in your lap, little pea in your buttonhole. And peas really don't do anything. There's no nutrition. Do you ever hear a mother say, eat your peas, it'll make you grow? Never. Just say, eat your peas, because they want to laugh at you. See them falling all on the floor and everything. Cauliflower, it's another worthless vegetable. What's, what's, what, what's the, any doctors here? What vitamins come out of cauliflower? Nothing. Just eat them, that's all. They're easy to eat, that's all. They don't offend anybody. They just sit there with cheese or butter on them and you just eat them. Cauliflower. Brussels sprouts. Ah, worst. You, no parent can justify Brussels sprouts. No parent can say, eat your Brussels sprouts, they'll make you grow. Not possible, but peas on your shoe, on the floor, all over the place. Take your peas out of your coffee. Come on. Huh? Lost weight? No, no. Getting thin, man. Have to get ready for my new TV series. Gonna be a school teacher, I have to look thin. Don't have any money. Yeah. Who's this with the hat on and everything there? Huh? What's your name, lady? Hmm? Lori. Lori? Lori. That's very nice. Who's that sitting across from you? Brother David? Yeah. How you doing, Dave? Nice to see you. How old are you? 13? 11? Okay. Been skiing today? 
you enjoy it? Lots of fun skiing, isn't it? Really talk a lot, don't you? <laughs> Who's that sitting next to you? Dad? What's your father's first name? Harold? Really? I don't remember him. <laughs> That's Dad. Who's that on your right? Who? She's just sitting next to you? Didn't you introduce yourself? Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. What's your, tell her your name. Yeah, shake hands. Are you married, Dorothy? Sorry about that. Tried. I tried, man, you know. Okay, who's that over there? Yeah, Joe, friend? Friend, because you got one father already now. Okay, it, uh, it's nice to have you here for the dinner show. Uh, do me a favor, eat, please. No, are you through? Well, eat, man, please. <laughs> do, do that, man, because I haven't eaten myself. <laughs> Just give me the meat, put it in my hand. Just... <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? Joyce. Joyce, your name is? Joyce? Okay. Come on. Where'd you get that wristwatch from? I can tell the time from up here. Let me see that watch. Take it off a sec. Oh, wow. Well, I want to know, oh, wow, myself. Well, you, you, where's your, why don't you just get glasses? You really need a front row seat, don't you? It doesn't. I hope the gong is not like the glass. I've heard a big bend, but never on the wrist. Okay. What time is it? What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> that ties it all together, doesn't it? Okay. Nice. Where are you from? Oakland? Really? I have a concert there. I'll be in Oakland. February, what is it, 14th? You got your tickets yet? Huh? Don't come all the way up here and see me if you're not coming to Oakland. You live right in Oakland. You mean you're gonna walk right by the place? Oh, I saw him already. I drive all the way. This, that, this is for my benefit. This big concert in Oakland, that's where I wanna see it. What do you mean I'll be too far away? You live in Oakland, you drove about 1,400 miles to get here for dinner? You already like the dinner here or the coffee's great or what? But I mean, you're gonna come to Oakland. I'll have a different show in Oakland. It's clean. <laughs> Do I realize how, I sure I realize how big it is. Well, then if you get there first and you buy the front row tickets, of course, with your eyes, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, you know. Would you like a seat right here? <laughs> What do you do? What, what kind of business are you in? You're what? Key punch operator? What is a key punch operator? Is that that game you play and you push and you win the clock where the witch comes out? And cars? Oh, you're the people that pay the wrong amount at the bank. <laughs> Guys, give me $7 on a four Kino number one time. I, pl I played it up here. I came up here, I had my, my check that I pay myself because I'm a corporation tax structure thing. Uh, I've learned all those words, you know. Tax, lien, shelter, things like jail. <laughs> IRS, things like that. The IRS is sort of, sort of like uh, going to heaven. You go to the guy and you know you're going to hell, but you lie about if you've been to church or not, you know. Of course I was honest when it happened. You all just finish your eating there. You finish up your little parfaits. Just eating parfaits. What's this corner over here? Guys, what kind of a seat is this they gave you? Who's this drinking wine? Huh? What's your name? Carol. What? Perry. You want to speak up so we can all hear it? A lot of people say, what? What, is it? what? What's your name, really? Carol Perry. Is that right? Who's that on your right? Robin Little. Boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Is it really? 
Who's that on his right? His mother. <laughs> really exciting tonight, isn't it? Let's say we give mom a couple extra belts and maybe she'll pass out and we'll go to the slot machine. Look up a couple of oranges. Who's this over here? I'm sorry about your hair. Didn't mean to. Huh? His friend. He brought everybody, huh? When you go out on a date with this, probably your last date with him, huh? <laughs> brought his friends, mother and father. You gonna get married or something or what? Hopefully not. You don't want to get married to him? No. Well, I'm not gonna ask you any more questions because it looks like a <laughs> fist fight is gonna come off here. It's, uh, yeah, I don't mind. You know, hello, mother. Oh. You had dinner with my mother the last time she was... My mother used to be a fine Methodist woman before I showed her a slot machine. <laughs> and now she prays to lemons, oranges, any kind of a grape in threes. <laughs> Anything in threes she prays to. Oh, three cherries. All right, I'll take them. Uh, I thought she was one of the Supremes. You thought my mother was one of the Supremes? Mm-hmm. I'd like to tell her about it. My mother weighs 140 pounds. She's 4'11". Is this your dinner? One prime bread, one brock sack, one chicken fillet. Who's got the fillet? Who, who ordered the fillet? No mind, it's the wrong table. One brock and fillet, one duet fillet, savage prim. That's it. Yes, sir. This. Is that right? Just come back from Vietnam, man. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Well, now what are you going to do with yourself? Well, I'm going to find a job till September and then go back to school September. Did they yank you out of college? Uh, yeah, they did. Because your grades were low? Uh, no, because I... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, saith the Lord. Yeah, I man, we're going to get some good college students, man. You don't see those guys trying to be, get A's and B's now, man. We don't want to go to war. Were you in action? Did you see live action and stuff? I was a medic in a hospital. You're a medic? Yes. I was a medic? <laughs> Yeah, Jack, the scaredest guys you ever want to see in your life, man. No, they don't give you no gun or nothing. You're just out there letting it all hang out, man. You know, people calling for you. Over here, get out. I'm in a foxhole, man. Don't bother me with that stuff. You worked in the hospital, though, huh? Yeah? Army medics are not as cool as Navy medics. We give, we give shots and everything, man. I love that part, giving shots. Yeah, boy, we give flu shots and everything. Used to be in charge of the penicillin. <laughs> For a small price, I wouldn't put your name down on the medical records. How you doing, Lou? How's everything? How you doing, Mom? Where's, where's your son? Huh? You didn't bring him up with you? Who's, what now? Who's late now? Is that a friend? It's not a friend of yours, is it? Just some people, huh? Who's late? High roller out there, huh? We'll fix him. You know, the last guy, last uh, midnight show, we had a guy came, two, the two wives came, and I said, where, where are your husbands? Because they're right up front. So well, they're all there drinking and just carrying on. <laughs> so we took the table up, put it right up there on the stage, you know, with two glasses of water, and made them sit up there. And he, should have seen two guys trying to look cool. Embarrassed? They're so embarrassed, man. They cross their legs about 900 times. They're just sitting there and smoking four cigarettes at a time. Just trying to look cool, man. They couldn't do it. And beat their wives up after the show. <laughs> Who's sitting next to you? Your, your husband's out there just doing their thing? You're not married? Well, you've certainly come to the right show. <laughs> Looking for my wife at the time. Nah. I'll tell you later on about my wife. And it's too bad. If you see somebody walking around out here, it looks like Robert Culp. It is, because Bob's up here. No, really. He's, yeah, he's up here. Up here with his... Uh... Came up here. I don't know what he's doing. He's uh, down at the house, he and his wife. No, not dark glasses. Bob doesn't wear dark glasses. None of us wear dark glasses. We're not afraid of people. Huh? Who does? That's what he said about you. He said, you need to change that shirt. How are, you, how are you gonna tell a guy what he needs? How do you know he needs a haircut? Did you see him before he went on TV? Huh? 
Did you see him before? Huh? Before, before he went on TV? His hair was that long. He was playing Buffalo Bill Cody. No, he was. So how can, ma'am, what, what is it? What did you say? No, well, it doesn't make any difference. You know, all you do is watch him on TV. What difference does it make? He can wear dirty underwear. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. How do, we don't go in your house and say, you need to take a bath today. <laughs> you know, say. Leave the guy alone. He, you know, his wife loves him. You, know, say, oh, you can't, there's nothing you can do that she can do for him. Not one thing. Huh? I hope you like him, because he's a nice guy. It has nothing to do with the length of his hair, and you got ice cream dripping off your lip. <laughs> it's a good-looking crowd. You're really good-looking. Please finish eating, because we've got a show. You're going to laugh so hard, your dinner's just going to arf. We got my, my uh, one of my closest friends, a guy that I, I met uh, some time ago. He's a Texan, and uh, he talks with the, with the uh, Texas, and yeah, you better get on over in the thing and the tracks and the breeze and things and all. Get hot, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's the way they talk in Texas. You know, he's, uh, he's, a, uh, he's a Texan. Come from Texas, talk Texas, and uh, <laughs> Texas fellow. Bring up the house lights there. Says thing like dead gummit and hot damn. Where you at, Carol? Stand up there. Say hello to Carol Shelby, ladies and gentlemen. Okay.